Hello, this is Seymour Rocks from Down Under. I'm just uh, going to play this next uh, session uh, because it lays bare the um, the bankruptcy of the Liberal. They seem to think uh, that what they is desirable to them is the truth and uh, institutional analysis is not. Uh, so this will become clear when I play this. Donald Trump is an unpredictable, unstable uh, person. Uh, he's not a strong and stable genius. Uh, he's a bull in a china shop. Uh, and to mix the metaphor, even a stop clock is right twice a day. And he was right to meet with the North Korean leadership. And he was right to encourage a rapprochement between North and South Korea. And it's going swimmingly. In fact, it's practically a love-in. The Koreans uh, are embracing each other with a warmth and vigor that no one could possibly have imagined and Donald Trump's predecessors would never have permitted. This is important. Barack Obama would never have met Kim Jong-un. And therefore, the permafrost of North-South Korea relations uh, would have continued. So, and, and not only would... Barack Obama not have done it, Hillary Clinton would not have done it. And so if we are looking objectively at this thing, uh, you have to say that Trump was right uh, about Korea and the others were wrong because Korea has been for decades a, cre a clear and present danger to world peace and, uh, and stability. It's not that I'm passionately denouncing the rules-based international order. I'm passionately denouncing the fact that there is no rules-based international order. You just call lawlessness a rules-based international order with some mistakes, some breaches. But how many breaches does it take uh, to invalidate your thesis in the first place? If you have what you call an international rules-based uh, 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 system in the world, which is not just breached, not just mistakes, but which kills millions of people and renders the whole world completely unstable, how many times does that need to happen before your thesis is invalidated? Now, for most people... It long ago ceased to be credible to call it a rules-based international order. And I refuse to accept your thesis, that's all. I haven't got a thesis. I'm just asking you two what you think. Well, your thesis but... is that there is an international rules-based order. Oh, I see. And, and, and my case is that it's abundantly clear that there has not been. And that, therefore, attempts to exceptionalize Trump, which is the liberal mantra... A nonsense. He's only been in 23 months. So if we have... So, now just listen to this next bit. This just absolutely personifies the um, the attitude of the liberal uh, Russia gators. Uh, uh, he's just spent the last five minutes explaining how uh, there is no rule space uh, system and then they interpret this as saying he doesn't want one. And this is what they do all the time. This is why you can never argue with these blighters. The world was in total chaos before he came. So, so if we hadn't had the United Nations and NATO set up after the Second World War, do you think the world would have been a better place? No. That is unfucking believable. God, I mean, are these people sane? Because I believe in a United Nations with real authority. But as long as you have veto powers, it cannot possibly uh, guarantee international order. I support the United Nations. It's, it's Tony Blair and George W. Bush that walked out of the United Nations and caused the cataclysm, which is being, I think, underappreciated here, of the Iraq War. Not since the First World War did we take a decision that would 
so changed the world as the decision to invade Iraq. Now, the United Nations, the late Kofi Annan, described that at the time as an illegal act. And yet it was carried out by people who pretend that they are presiding over a rules-based international order. Certainly the, the right... So, there we are. Uh, yeah, I think George Galloway is absolutely right. 